Donovan's Brain, a 1953 picture directed by Felix E. Feist. We already discussed Freddie Francis' 1962 feature, The Brain. Both films are adaptations of Kurt Seodmak's 1942 novel, also titled Donovan's Brain. The Brain by Freddie Francis is different in its synopsis to the novel and to his 53 film, for it features a disembodied brain utilising the body of the Doctor overseeing its survival in order to enact vengeance on their murderer. Donovan's Brain, novel and Felix Feist film, involves the brain of one Warren Donovan, an unscrupulous, unethical business magnate, being kept alive by one Dr. Patrick Corey, but then taking control of him for, well, another chance to live, I suppose. This film I consider to be a lot of fun upon viewing it. The production values are not subpar by any means, its plotting is tense, and it really believes in its own prowess. Highly functional, but very effective when viewing. Though one isn't mystified, at all really, when considering the premise of what we are viewing. I think this may have to be a result of director Feist also being credited with writing the screenplay for this title. One Hugh Brook is credited with adaptation, although Felix E. Feist has the screenwriter credit. I'm unsure what the distinction is here, specifically. The cinematography seems inferior to the 1962 production, if I remember that director Freddie Francis was a very talented cinematographer, it was his trade prior to directing that film, so he had a rather unfair advantage. Donovan's Brain is plausibly one of the better films I've discussed on this little 1950s sci-fi run so far. By the way, I'll be stopping after discussing films from 1955. I and we need more variety, there's too many films in the world. Its cinematography from Joseph F. Birock is rather striking, and having penned the screenplay, Feist would direct the film in a mentally storyboarded fashion, having already potentially worked out ahead of time how best to angle, light, frame, direct a scene in question. Director Feist is known for a 1933 sci-fi picture called Deluge, which I will talk about someday, and also an outstanding noir starring the exemplary Lawrence Tierney titled The Devil Thumbs a Ride. Despite a decent quantity of directed films, Donovan's brain, despite its seeming potential for mockery, is apparently considered one of his better films. It at least tricks me into thinking, especially despite some not terrible but not overwhelmingly memorable performances, that it is a quality film. 